Uh, Senator Kennedy. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, ha has the audit begun? Yes, Senator. Okay. I want to thank both of you, and I want to thank President Trump for doing what the law directs you to do. Under the 1990 statute, what, what position, not what person, but what position at the Department of Defense was responsible for initiating the audit? The audit, I'm not sure how the language is phrased, the audit is conducted by the IG, no, and then the who, production who, of the financial statements. Who is statements responsible the at DOTD, I mean uh, DOD, under the 1990 statute for saying, I've read the law, mm -hmm. we're going to start this off. What position? My belief would be, since it's called the CFO Act, it would be the CFO or the secretary, depending on how the language is written. Okay. Would, would you get me the, uh, the name of every CFO who has served at the Department of Defense since this statute was passed? I can do that, Senator. Okay. I don't know where to begin. You know, I, the, the uh, Senator Corker is kind of the conscience of the Senate on our deficits. And I first heard him speak about the fact that the Department of Defense had never been audited at a, at a, at a meeting. And frankly, I thought he misspoke. I couldn't believe it. Mm -hmm. Uh, I can't explain this to my people back home, every single one of whom support a strong defense. Mm -hmm. But when I tell them that every other agency in the federal government undergoes an audit, but the Department of Defense, and it was required to do it 18 years ago and still hasn't done it, they think I belong in a straitjacket. Mm -hmm. I just find this, how did it go on 18 years? D didn't somebody ever call the CFO and say, have you started the audit yet? So let, I will try and attempt to answer the question, though I, I come from your perspective, which is I viewed the audit as essential, as something we needed to start. And um, in my prior experience at DHS, that's exactly what we did. We had an audit from the moment DHS was created. But I think that the types of answers you'll hear is it's large, it's complex, it will take longer than the tenure of the person there. In my mind, those are arguments to start, not arguments to wait. There are some mechanical things you had to put in place to make it worth starting the audit. There are things that if you're not even able to answer the, the sample requirements of the auditor, they can't even begin. And the department, having not been set up that way, needed some time to do that. I say this not to explain it, but because I recognize in my perspective is we ought to have started. And I'm glad at least that in the transition of administrations, the contracts were set in place that allowed us to begin now rather than waiting, putting out contracts and not getting the well, benefit of the audit for a few more years. Well, well let, me, let, me, let me put it another way. I have read that the Defar Department of Defense has more federal contracts than all the other agencies in the United States federal government put together. Is that right? Uh, I don't know. I don't know if that includes grants or not, but yeah, it might be. Well, it's I mean, a half of the discretionary budget. Do we have, if, if I ask you for a list of all the contracts and the amount, could you give it to me? So that is something that we're building called the universe of transactions. You couldn't give it to me, right? Not now? easily. It's, it was a very long list, but yeah. We don't even know how many contractors we have. Well, let me, let me back up. There is a requirement that the Congress has put on the department and others to publish at usaspending.gov that type of information. And so you'll be seeing right. that's part of the emphasis on the audit is right. putting the accuracy right. of that data out there. Let me interrupt you because I've only got a few more minutes. I, I, I see where you you expect to spend $367 million this year to conduct the audit and an additional $551 million to fix the problems. Mm -hmm. Now, how do you know it's going to cost $551 million to fix the problems if you don't know what the problems are yet? I don't know how much it will cost to fix the problems. I know how much the services have set aside to start to take the problem on. And so we've been able to break it out according to how much the Army, the Navy, and the others are going to be spending on fixing problems. How long it takes them remains to be seen. 
Well, we've, we've got clearly mm -hmm. some people who have, some hogs who have all four feet in their snout in the trough. And we got to find out who they are, gentlemen. Mm -hmm. and, and if we need to pass legislation to require this to be done, and say, make it criminal. If it's not done, somebody goes to jail or at least somebody's fi fired. I would appreciate your advice on that. I can't explain this to my people. Mm -hmm. I can't. I'm sorry I went over, Mr. Chairman. Okay.